In this video, we will show you how to attach a VMware ESXi host to an ME5 system through a SAS connection. Before you begin, complete the installation of your ME5 system hardware. Review the Dell Powerwall ME5 Series Storage System Deployment Guide for host cabling and setup instructions. Review the ME5 Series Storage System Administrator's Guide for information on configuring hosts and volumes in Powervault Manager. Prepare a network planning worksheet based on the examples in the deployment guide. First, connect the ME5 system to your ESXi host according to instructions in the ME5 series deployment guide. Your configuration may vary, but it will look similar to this diagram. On the ME5 2U system, controller A is on the top and controller B is on the bottom. Ports on controller A are identified as port 0 through port 3 going right to left. Ports on controller B are numbered in the opposite direction. Port 0 is on the left and port 3 is on the right. On your network planning worksheet, record each controller port and the switch port or host server port it is connected to. To identify the SAS HBA WWNs, log in to the ESXi host. In the VMware ESXi UI, click Storage and then click the Adapters tab. Select the SAS HBA in the list and record the node worldwide name on your planning worksheet. Next, configure the hosts on the Powervault ME5 system. Log in to Powervault Manager. From the main dashboard, go to Provisioning and select Hosts. Select Create Host to launch the wizard. Enter the host name. Select the correct initiator for the host. Using your worksheet is a guide to map the IP and the initiator ID. You can give this host initiator a nickname. It is recommended to use something that clearly identifies the initiator for that particular host. Then select Add Initiators to Host and click Continue. Optionally, attach the host or host group to a volume. You can choose to create a new volume during this step or attach the host to an existing volume. For this video, we will create a new volume to attach to the host. Select Attach Host or Host Groups to Volumes and select Create New Volumes to Attach to Host or Host Group and click Continue. Select the pool on which you want to deploy the volume. Name the volume. Again, it is recommended that you include something descriptive of the volume use in the name, such as the host name. Click Add Volume, then click Continue. Review the information for the host and associated volume and click continue to complete the create host wizard. When hosts are created, you will see a success message pop up. Next, complete the configuration of the volume in vSphere. Launch the vSphere client. Select the host. Click the configure tab. Select Storage and then click Rescan Storage. The associated volume for the host should appear as a new storage device. Next, create a new data store. Click Data Stores. Select Actions, Storage, New Data Store. Select VMFS as the data store type and click Next. Name the data store. Then select the ME5 volume from the list of devices. Click Next. Select the version VMFS6 and click Next. Leave the partition settings at their default values and click Next. Review the information, then click Finish. For more detailed steps on configuring the data store in vSphere, review the VMware vSphere documentation. Select the newly created data store and click the Configure tab. Select Connectivity and Multipathing. Make sure the path selection policy is set to Round Robin, VMware. If not, edit the Multipathing policy. Your ME5 system storage is now ready to be used by the hosts. For detailed steps and custom commands for MPIO, see the Dell Powerwall ME5 series VMware vSphere Best Practices Guide. To access this guide, and for more information or support about managing Powerwall ME5 hosts, visit dell.com forward slash support.